1976, Alexander Graham Bell sent the first clear telephone message into a nearby room to his assistant, Thomas Watson. Mr. Watson, come here, I want you, were the first words spoken into the invention that Bell had created. In 1877, Emil Berliner, the man behind so many inventions, came up with a little thing called the microphone. And it's a good thing, too, because the Bell system run by Alexander Graham Bell, of course, was in desperate need of something to save it from financial ruin and to help the progress of the telephone. In 1891 this week, Almon Stroger, an undertaker in Topeka, Kansas, patented the Stroger switch. This was a device which led to the automation of telephone circuit switching. This week in 1958, the United States launched the Vanguard 1 satellite. It was the first satellite to be solar powered. Although communication with it was lost in 1964, it remains the oldest man-made satellite still in orbit. In 1961 this week, Sputnik 9 successfully launched carrying a mannequin named Ivan Ivanovich, along with a dog, various reptiles, and 80 mice and guinea pigs, demonstrating that the Soviet Union was ready to begin human spaceflight. In 1981 this week, the ZX81, a pioneering British home computer, was launched by Sinclair Research and would go on to sell 1.5 million units around the world. And this week in 1985, the first ever internet domain name, Symbolics.com, was registered for free. By 1995, domain names were no longer free to register and the company Network Solutions managed the registration process. Domain registration prices were $100 for two years of registration per domain name. By 2014, most .com domain name registration prices had dropped to about $10 to $15 per year. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA in Berlin. IFA, the Global Innovations Show. 6,000 media representatives, 2,600 from abroad. It's IFA time. Meet the official partner of the future in Berlin. Be sure to check out our website anytime at intotomorrow.com and subscribe to our free podcasts while you're there. We'll catch you next time on This Week in Tech History.